Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is Earphone Tuesday, a new tradition in 2021 where every Tuesday the Tech Travel Geeks will unbox and provide some first impressions or do a full review of a set of earphones. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Not only do we unbox and review earphones, but we cover consumer electronics and any gadgets or things that we think make the travel experience better. Today we're going to focus on the Vivo Wireless Sport earphone. This is a review device provided by Vivo. And what we're going to do is unbox uh, this set of earphones and pair it with a Vivo X51 Pro 5G and see how they perform. So let's start off with the packaging. This is obviously meant for physical retail stores. You can see it's got a little uh, hook at the top in the packaging. And if we look at the packaging, it has a few details shouted out about in the actual front of it, as well as the product itself, this set of sport earphones. It says that it's LDAC and it has high resolution wireless audio. And more importantly, uh, especially if you're going to be using these to do sports in places like Scotland, they're IP55 waterproof. Right then, let's just open the packaging up and see what's inside. Oh, if only I had something to open the packaging. Yes, I do. If you subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks, you'll have seen that I recently unpackaged the Jerry Rig Everything Razor Knife. And that's exactly what I'll be using now to cut through the plastic in this packaging. So I'm going to go over the bottom through the gap in the cardboard and just cut through. And that just cuts like a warm knife through butter. So I have slightly damaged the cardboard, but I'm sure Vivo won't be too upset about that. So there we go, we've got the cellophane off the pa packaging and I can now get my fingers underneath to get the cardboard to open. So cardboard sleeve away and front and foremost we have the earbuds or earphones themselves. These are in a cardboard insert. and will eventually come out once I push the earbuds themselves out. Okay, so the earphones themselves, we'll put these to the side for now and check what other accessories come in the box. So we have the instruction manual, which I'm sure we'll read later, and the wireless earphone important information and warranty card. So I'll put these two aside and look at what else is in the box. So there's a couple more uh, loops. So if we look at the earphones, they have little rubber loops for sticking in your ears. These should make it easier to, uh, for example, run and not have these pop out of your ears. So it's double, uh, Double, doubly staying in your ear, you've got the silicon uh, tip or ear plug and the silicon loop. So you have a few extra ones here in different sizes. Obviously many people have different shapes of ears. They're a bit like fingerprints ears. So it's good to have optional ones. And what I like to see in accessories is there is a USB cable, but more importantly, it is a USB type C to type A. And if you check the inside of this, there's a little glint of green. I believe that means that these are uh, Vivo flash charge. So they use the same technology as the Vivo smartphones for fast charging. Now that's really good because essentially what's uh, 
Vivo Promise with these wireless sport earphones is that with five minutes of charging, you have four hours of playback. So they're fast charging, even if they run low, you should be able to use this Type-C cable and that Type-C port to charge your device very quickly, which is great to see. Now then, um, we have a series of buttons here. What I'm going to do is turn earphones on by using the action button in the middle. Should I have read the instructions? No, because I'm getting a little green flashing light there. So that's great. So what I'm going to do next is, oh, my Vivo X51 5G has automatically recognized the Vivo Wireless Sport earphones. So all I'm going to go is unlock to connect. So I'll use my fingerprint scanner and check Bluetooth and I'm already connected. So they have a 30% charge. What I'm going to do is now use them for a while, play some music, play some podcasts, watch some video, get some impressions of what these Bluetooth 5 earphones are like, how they feel on my shoulders because the back loop goes round your shoulders and come back and give you some first impressions of how I think these are and how they perform. So to you, it'll just be a few minutes um, and a wipe transition between one video and the other, which our chief aperture officer tends not to appreciate. And when I'm back, I'll give you those first impressions. So speak to you soon. Okay then, I'm back and I've been using these for just over an hour and a half to two hours. And I have to say, I have quite enjoyed using the Vivo Wireless Sport earphones. They fit well in my ear. I didn't have to make any changes to the actual earplug bit or to the other silicon uh, bits that goes in your ear. And they fit very, very comfortably. This uh, neck band is not heavy at all. Um, once it goes around your neck, it's very, very comfortable. And the buttons are easy to find without having to look at them. So once you realize that the middle button has an extra dimple on it, that's the action button. Uh, I'm, I was very, very happy to say that I could find it very easily. I used uh, these earbuds or these wireless earphone uh, for both listening to music, podcasts, a couple of videos on YouTube, as well as making a video call. And everything was nice and clear. It was uh, pretty true to the original. And the person on the other end of the video call had no issue speaking to me. One thing I would say is that these Vivo wireless sport earphones don't have an overly bassy sound profile. So it's actually very true to the original. It's a bit like what we saw on the LG Tone Free Ear earbuds uh, last year. The sound is very, very accurate and doesn't have that wow factor of some deep and heavy bass. And so that's just a, a thing that, in my opinion, for sound is actually good, especially if, if you listen to uh, audiobooks or podcasts a lot you get the real voice, not that boomy, bassy thing that some people do prefer for music. So overall, sound quality is excellent. Um, I haven't been through charging them yet. I haven't needed to. As they came out of the box, they had a 30% charge and they're now down to 10%. And the good news is that the pairing, as we saw earlier, is really straightforward with uh, the Vivo X51 Pro 5G. And the indicator in the notification shade showed the battery percentage as well. So it's not just the pairing that was easy. You also get some extra information on your smartphone about the status of the earphones themselves. Now, obviously, I haven't tested these uh, out and about running in the Scottish wintry rain. Uh, I may go ahead and do that soon. So if you're interested in finding out how they perform in actual sporty 
uh, environments, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Um, if you have any other questions or you'd like to know more, leave us a question in the section below. Um, I will carry on using these uh, for a few weeks before passing a final judgment, but first impressions are very, very positive. They're a decent set of earphones. And I'll try and link to where you might be able to purchase these uh, on Amazon or any other retailer in the UK. So with that, I think I'll wrap up this video. Uh, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And for now, goodbye from us. Thank you.